Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today we have the newest Ken from the Barbie the Movie release, and that is our Western Ken. I did pre order him from Target, and he was $50 USD and sold out pretty quickly. Thankfully, I was able to get him. The only one from the second wave that I wasn't able to get immediately was the uh, was the Rollerblade Barbie. So hopefully I'll be able to find her in stores in October when they say there's going to be a restock. She does show up as being uh, available on Walmart's app in October. So fingers crossed that some of these are going to get restocked. We did see a small restock of the first wave. And I have been finding Perfect Day Barbies in stores a little bit more frequently. So our fingers are crossed that these are going to wind up a little bit more readily available, especially since the billion dollar success of the movie. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the features of our Ken doll. So as we can see, he's got the beach scene on his box. We've got the back of the box. There is a little bit of discoloration on my box right there. So it's kind of good I'm not keeping them in the box. There is the UPC and the item number. Again, a little tear down here. Um, but that's okay, because I am not an in-the-box collector. I am an out-of-the-box collector. And I am excited to get him out. I think he's in a jumpsuit. I don't know if this is going to be multiple pieces. We're going to take a look at it. Why does this one not want to work? It is like folded under there for some reason not had this problem with other boxes yet but that one was folded under there so I had to tear the top a little bit to get it out but I have kind of moved away from worrying about these boxes quite so much um, just because it's so much more space to keep them in the box even to display them in the box but there he is as you can see He's got his little boots. I'm very excited about the boots. Uh, his little fringe, you can just pop it back down pretty easily with a little heat from your hand. Uh, but he's so cute. Now, I am not against the Ken face mold that they made for the movie because I personally like the more animated kind of vibe that they give us compared to a hyper-realistic doll. We've got our certificate right there. But again, when collecting, everything is up to personal taste. Don't buy something you don't like just because you don't uh, wanna miss out on it. That's what the scalpers want us to do. Off right there. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so we've got him out. He looks very cute, I think. This might be my favorite can from the movie, or at least his favorite look, because everyone's favorite from the movie is Alan, let's be real. Um, but, I'm gonna try to get everything off of there. And of course they gave us another way to, I don't know, 
keep things secure right there. Now again, these Kens are not on made-to-move bodies, they are on uh, articulated bodies, which is fine. I don't love that they put holes through the hat to hold them into the box, but such is life. But he's very cute. Now let's take his little stand out. Always good to have these stands on hand. Right. And then we can fold this back up and put it back in the box if we feel like keeping things in the box. But for now, we are going to put things back. Again, it's a little bit leaning forward I don't love the way they've done these new stands, but, okay, so there is a lot going on on this. But first and foremost, it does look like it is pants. If you guys can see that, there is a delineation right there. So what we're gonna try to do is unhook this stuff. So, that's how it comes off, just like that. And we take that off. So, it's a very fun belt buckle, if you can see that. And again, we've got a little bit of detail there on that one. Let's see, I don't even know how. We're supposed to take this one off, but we're going to start with just kind of taking the pants down. Okay. So as you can see, it's a standard articulated um, leg. Now this is all done to keep the doll from being stained, but it is a little bit overkill sometimes when you have to go in like this and kind of peel them off. Uh, but, you know, everything in the uh, and the goal of a perfect doll, right? Okay. So there's that. So again, no ankle articulation on these dolls, which is fine. We've got black boot, black soles on the boot, a little bit of paint overspill here on the top. I can take that off just a little bit of acetone. Again, we're gonna try to get this off. Well, that came off much easier that way. Again, a little bit of detailing on the top. You can really see that stitching. Um, and then we've got our jeans which are very nice. They've got belt buck, uh, they've got belt loops, obviously. They've got pockets. Um, this is actual denim. Like that feels really good. Now he does have a bit of like a bodysuit going on to keep his shirt tucked in, which is kind of a fun way to keep things secured. And we take this off. And our goal is to uh, get him out of this outfit without too much bloodshed. Okay, 
as you can see, that was a really long strap, one of the ones that was holding him in the box. And he has got a full on like Dexter suit under there to keep things from getting stained. Which is fine. You can keep this, you can keep the doll in this or you can remove it. I'm gonna remove it just because I'm taking him out of the box. Now, his hat is not secured with anything once you take him out of the box. He does have some serious helmet hair going on under there. Um, but again, it does mean that his hat, once you put it on, isn't gonna fall off. Now, his little neckerchief is tied. There is not a, um, there is not any like Velcro or anything holding this on. It's just tied, so I'm gonna leave it because I cannot tie tiny things to make my, save my life. Okay. And this is not denim, if you can see. This is more of a standard cotton. And we've got a double layer up there. Again, the fringe is fine. If you wanna straighten this out just a little bit, um, a hair straightener on low um, is probably your best way to go, like a really low heat hair straightener on this kind of uh, fringe. But you could also just steam it and it'll probably lay flat a little bit better. Uh, we've got actual embroidery here up on the collar and the, uh, the chest of the shirt. No buttons or anything under there. These are little like iron-on buttons for the pearl snaps. And we've got three separate uh, Velcro attachments. If you can see that, it's black on black. So it does blend in very well. Um, I do wish they had done some more embroidery here on the back of the shirt. That would have been nice. But all in all, his outfit is like four pieces. So you've got the shirt, the pants, the neckerchief, the belt and the shoes. So you've got really one, two, three fabric pieces and three plastic pieces. It's not bad, but it is a little overpriced for being $50 considering the only benefit you're getting from this set is that it's got real denim, like it's well constructed. It's well constructed and it has embroidery. But I'm willing to pay it because I like, I loved the movie and honestly it's worth it for me. But some of you may not be willing to pay that price. I know it's more expensive overseas. Don't come for me guys. Um, but it is very pretty I think. Now normally I would take a doll like this and put him onto a made to move body. But unfortunately I am out of made to move bodies that match this skin tone. Um, what I could do technically, it's a little cheating, but because this doll is not gonna be showcasing any skin, I could put him on a body that doesn't match and then just swap his hands, but it's a lot harder to swap Ken hands than Barbie hands. You do have to like, take them out and there's a much bigger peg and it does not come out very easily. You essentially have to break the doll and put the doll back together. I do not recommend doing it, which is why I think I am going to normally, which is why I am just going to leave him on his standard body because I already have uh, two cans that are made to move that are the same face. Um, so I'm going to leave him on this body and just kind of pose him um, in his normal uh, articulation. So you just kind of get him and put him into his, back into the outfit. A little bit better constructed so you don't have to worry about the snagging near as much. 
there is a little bit of an issue here on the cuff. Now, normally, if you're running into any issues like this where you can't get the hand through a shirt sleeve or something, uh, your best bet is to use a sock, like a stocking or something, to put it over the... Uh, Put it over the hand. Oh, really does not like to come through. There we go. All right. This is a little more complicated because you do have to worry about that little strap down in the bottom. And we just kind of make sure that all three of our Velcros get hooked. And then we put our boy back into his jeans. Again, a little more complicated considering he doesn't have articulated ankles, um, but it's fine. But he looks really good, I think. Now the really complicated part will be putting the belt back on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get it through here correctly. Okay. Okay. Just like this. go through like that to get him centered. And then we take our boot, put it back under those pants. Again, boot back under those pants. And we could stick them on his, uh, on his stand. And there he is. And just for reference, here is my made to move cowgirl Barbie from that same scene, looking very cute. So again, there are benefits to made to move, but with him, just because I do not have any more of the body type that he is going to match and the skin tone that he's going to match, I am going to leave him. Now, if you are curious about the skin type matching, um, check my first video that I did with Perfect Day Ken. He is a match for looks Sean. He also doesn't look bad on looks number 18, which is the muscular Ken. It's a pretty close match on that one. Um, unfortunately, those are both a little bit harder to come by, but he is, like I said, with this one, you could probably get away with putting him on a standard made-to-move body. Let me show you if I have any of those on hand. Actually, no, not. Oops, sorry. Got the whiplash, y'all. Uh, like. Here is a looks cam. He is not quite the exact same tone as our standard wheelchair Barbie wheelchair cams, but this is the tone. See, he's much lighter. Um, I could probably get away with it because not much of that doll is being shown, considering his whole outfit is uh, skin coverage. I could probably get away with putting him on this body if I felt like it. But for now, I think I'm going to leave him on his regular articulated body and just make sure he is on the Barbie shelf. So if you guys have any questions about these dolls, 
let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.